So you've done it all. You bought your SEO courses, you built your beautiful website, but no matter how much you seem to try, none of your content seems to rank on the Google search results. And I'm sure you've heard many tutorials say, just post high quality content and do your best and you'll rank number one on Google. And that's BS and we all know it. And I mean, just look at Forbes. They post a bunch of garbage on the internet and they seem to rank number one for pretty much everything they post. And if you're just getting started with blogging, you know, my heart goes out to you, you're gonna notice that it's very difficult to rank content and almost impossible to rank any sort of competitive keyword. So where do we go from here? What if there's a way that you could rank on the first page of Google without the hassle of backlinks, SEO manipulation, rankings, and basically without the SEO politics? I ranked two articles on the first and second page of Google without a website. So how do we start? Well, where there's a will, there's a way. Meet Parasites SEO. Parasite SEO is an SEO technique where digital marketers or website owners leverage high authority websites to rank content quickly on search engines. Instead of relying on their own website domain authority, they can piggyback on established domains to gain visibility, traffic, and backlinks. SEO has drastically changed over the last year, and I myself am now invested more in Parasite SEO. Now, let me give you a real life example of how all this works. Let's type in hosting or coupon code. Wait, what's this? Someone actually named their song hosting or coupon code? Oh my God. Okay, that's not what I wanna show you. Let me give you another example. Meet Blogify. This is just some random AI tool that claims they can automate your blog. Now they probably can't, I don't recommend it, but that's not what I wanna talk about. Let's head over to Google. I'll type into Blogify review and the very first result is actually a Medium article. What the hell is Medium? Well, regardless, it's a blogging platform that does rank content for low competitive keywords and even competitive keywords on the front page of Google. In fact, on the first page of Google for this specific keyword, there's actually two other LinkedIn articles ranking for this keyword. There's also Quora, Reddit, and a few other questions listed on the front page. I think in 2025, you're gonna see a lot of digital marketers change up their marketing strategy. I myself, I've changed up my content marketing strategy. No longer do I only post on my websites. I actually diversify it to other platforms like Medium, LinkedIn, and also Quora. Now let me explain how Parasite SEO really works. The first strategy is posting on high authority websites. Content is being published on platforms like Medium, LinkedIn, Quora, Reddit, or news sites that already have established domain authority. This allows the content to rank much faster than actually writing on your own blog. Number two, targeting low competition keywords. Since the content is hosted on a strong domain, it has a higher chance of being ranked for less competitive keywords with less effort. Now writing articles and getting ranked for these keywords sounds cool, right? But we're still driving traffic to those websites. So how do I benefit from this? Let me explain. First up, we have using backlinks for an SEO boost. The content that you create can link back to your own website, passing domain authority and traffic. Number two, affiliate marketing and monetization. Some digital marketers use the Parasite SEO method to promote affiliate links, drive traffic to sales pages, or capture leads. And lastly, monetization. Many of these websites will monetize your content that you create on their websites. Quora now has a monetization program that will help you monetize the traffic you bring, and also Medium will pay you ad revenue for all the traffic you bring to the websites. And to add more incentive, these do get indexed by Google, so there is good chances you can make ad revenue from the articles you create. So SEO is definitely evolving. It's always a good idea to diversify your content marketing strategy to try to bring as much traffic as you can to your websites. Now, let me give you some examples of how I ranked articles and just show you what I did. Let's take a look. So here's the first example. Now I made an article about Kemi Cloud hosting review because I wanna generate commissions for promoting a Kemi Cloud, right? Now I actually have an article already ranking on the very first page of Google. So what I did here was I actually took my own article, I spinned it, and then I decided to actually re-upload this content on LinkedIn. So this is the first page of Google and I'm not on the first page for my, uh, my LinkedIn results, but I'm on the second page. So if I go to the second page, you're gonna see right here, this is written by Daryl Wilson and this is on the second page of Google. So this is the current article that is ranking on the second page. And again, what I decided to do here was I took articles that I already wrote on my own websites. I actually asked ChatGPT to completely rewrite the article. And then what I did was I actually posted it on this website. And within a few days, I was ranking on the second page. So you'll see that looks very similar to my other article, but it's not the same, but it is you know completely worded differently. We did change a little bit of images, but um, now that we have this article ranking on the second page, I can say, hey, we're ranking on the very first and second page of Google. So if they didn't like my article on the first page, they're gonna find me again on the second page, which is a win, right? Let's take a look at the second example. So now let me give you a second method on how to rank on the first page without even having a website or even having to post anything. 
So I wanna rank for something like how to get more web design clients. Notice here how the very first uh, result is a Reddit post. I personally try not to use Reddits, but uh, you know, since, since SEO is uh, going in that way, I might have to rethink my plan. Now notice here how there's this core question asking what's the best way to get web design clients? Let's take a look. And under this core question under recent, you're gonna see my brand right here. So you're gonna see my question and I'm answering the question about how to get web design clients, but you know, I'm very informative. I'm not trying to like spam my links and stuff like that. I'm just really providing value. And if we scroll down, you'll see I have 180 views with 19 shares. So people are actively sharing the questions that I'm actually answering on Quora. Now, I wanna give you some advice here. Be very cautious about what you post on Quora. If you post links, Quora is very quick to shadow ban the accounts. So you can't post affiliate links. So do not post affiliate links whatsoever. You can post links to websites that are helpful and that help answer the question. But if Quora feels like you're spamming the question, they're just gonna shadow ban the actual answer. And to give you an example, I actually emailed Quora and I said, hey, I actually answered some questions and then you just took down the question and you shadow banned the accounts. And after I emailed them, you're gonna see that uh, they actually made a mistake. So after a second look, we decided to restore your contents. It initially appeared to be in violation of our platform policy, but under further review, we've determined that is in compliance. Now, personally, what I believe about Quora, I think they were not ready for the Google updates. I think Quora just wasn't ready for it. There was a lot of crap answers on Quora that they haven't deleted. So maybe over time, Quora will get better, but I have seen just tons of spam on Quora. So next, let me give you a second example of how to use Quora to your advantage. I typed in the keyword, who is Daryl Wilson? Believe it or not, people are typing in in the search results, who is Daryl Wilson? What is Daryl Wilson's net worth? And a few other personal details, right? Now, if I scroll down, you're gonna see that there is this core question, who is Daryl Wilson? Now, did someone actually ask this question? Well, technically, yes. I actually asked this question and then I decided to answer my own question. And I did this because, you know, it's it's helpful, right? Some people might wanna know about who is Daryl Wilson. They wanna know my net worth, but I don't really wanna create a blog post for that. There's really no need to do that, right? So in this case, I actually asked a question on Quora and then I answered it. Now, the next example I wanna talk about is how you can use affiliate marketing with Quora. So I typed in something like, is hosting or fast? A lot of people wanna know if hosting or fast a uh, web hosting company. And on the very first result, we have a core question. So I thought this was a good opportunity to expose my brand. And you'll see this is actually in the recommended. So people are actually recommending my answer because they felt it had a lot of value. And it's so funny, what I did here was I actually took an article from my websites, I spinned it, and then I posted it here, right? Because I mean, the articles I write on my website are very high quality, you know? So I basically wanted to take those articles and basically reshare them as answers. So you'll see that we have this question here. I answered it. And if we scroll down, uh, I let them know that they can visit the website. And you'll see I have 277 views, 18 upvotes. Now, what I did here is since Quora does not allow affiliate links, I decided to use my coupon code. So, hey, you know, if you wanna try Hostinger, go ahead and try them out and then use this coupon code. It will give you a large discount. I don't think there's any rules against telling people you have a coupon code. I do know that uh, you cannot post affiliate links, but you're gonna see that's within, let's see, let's take a look here. So I actually published this uh, two weeks ago and it has 277 views with 18 upvotes. You know, people actually, like my content, you know, very surprising. So the last example I wanna show you is how I got ranked on the first page twice with my own article. Now I already have an article ranking number one for the keyword, how to write high ranking blog posts, right? So again, what I decided to do was go on over to LinkedIn and I actually took my own articles, I spinned it, and then I reposted it here on LinkedIn. Now, if we actually go over to the search results and we scroll down, you're gonna see that's I am, wait, where am I? Wait, where am I? Oh, there it is, Daryl Wilson, how to write high-ranking blog posts in 2025. And if we were to click on this, you're gonna see that same article that I wrote from LinkedIn. Now, I have to give you a word of caution here as well. These content platforms do not want you to actually copy and paste your content. So do not go to your own blog. Do not just copy it and then paste it on websites. If they do detect that, they might shadow ban your accounts and worse, they might delete it. It is against the TOS to actually do that. So what I do here is I take my articles, I rewrite them a little bit, and then I republish them because that is not against the TOS for any of these websites. But uh, yeah, so you're gonna see that uh, this 
article is actually getting traffic and you know I, I commented on it I actually like to comment on my own articles because when users see a comment they're more inclined to actually comment again right nobody wants to jump in the pool first right they want to wait till everyone's like in the pool they're like oh okay then I'll comment too kind of thing right so the SEO game has definitely changed right if you want to keep blogging away and praying that you rank on the very first page of Google be my guest knock your heart out but I don't think that's a valid content marketing strategy going forward now I would use these other websites and leverage the domain authority of these websites in order to diversify your content marketing strategy in order to get your brand found and bring traffic back to your websites. Add these SEO strategies to your marketing methods and I guarantee you, you're gonna find a lot more traffic to your website. Hope you all enjoyed this video. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people later.